Hello everyone, this video will just be a quick overview of some of the features included in the Cadence Pricing Table plugin. Now if we take a look over at this demo here, get a good idea of what we can do. All of these were set up entirely within the plugin settings for the Cadence Pricing Tables, and you can actually import any one of these templates to your site that you like, so I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, you're going to want to install and activate the Cadence Pricing Tables plugin. If you're unfamiliar with that process, a quick Google search will show you how to do that. Now, once you've got the plugin activated and installed, navigate to your admin sidebar and let's start off by going to the font options. This is where you're going to be able to select all of the font options for your pricing tables. Now, I'm just going to leave this by def or to the default settings because I'm not really too worried about the fonts at this moment. And once the fonts are set up, go to the Pricing Tables tab, and you have three options here. You can either add a pricing table from scratch, you can add one from one of those templates I just showed you, or you can import a pricing table that you've created on a different website. Now we're just going to add one from a template, and we'll just select that one. Pretty simple, and within moments it's going to configure this pricing table for you. Now up here you're going to have some options on whether or not you want margins between them, where you want the load in to come from, whether or not you want a hover effect on these, what the text alignment will be. You can turn that top row off, turn the price off, turn that description off, or the footer. So we'll just leave all these default settings and we'll start customizing. So everything here, if you want to change it, simply click on it and you can just type the text in. So let's change this from $50 to $60 and in real time you see it right there. This is exactly how to look on your site. So you can do that with any of these tabs. You type in just whatever words you want and it's going to show there. If you want to remove one of these rows just click the X. If you want to add a new row click that plus can set the background colors for these rows, you can set the font colors, just pretty customizable. It's all very straightforward though. So once you're finished with your pricing table, save the settings, navigate back to the tables overview, and snag this short code right here. Then navigate to the page where you'd like the pricing table to appear. We'll just add a new pricing tables page. And you can either paste that short code into this text editor and save and it will show up, or you can add it via page builder. So we'll just add a visual editor widget here. If I can find it, I'm forgetting what the alphabet is. There we go. Okay, so we'll add that right there. Hit done, hit publish, and let's view this page to make sure our pricing table is configured correctly. And nice, just like that, you've got your pricing table customized and ready to go. It's really that simple. It's a great plugin, and if you have any further questions on how to configure your pricing tables, as always, just post to the membership forums and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.